Last week, some guy said, but don't worry, these days fuel pumps are incredibly sophisticated pieces of machinery, and for the most part it's very unlikely that they're going to be that inaccurate. Or are they? In that video, we learned of a known issue within the fuel dispensing industry about how petrol pumps are no good at dispensing smaller quantities of fuel accurately. For more context, you might want to watch this video here if you haven't already, but if you can't be asked, the short version is that until you're delivering more than two, or in some cases five litres, the accuracy of the fuel pump is anybody's guess. This video led to at least three people commenting that we should measure for ourselves how accurate fuel pumps are when dispensing one litre. And I agree. So today we'll be taking one litre of fuel as per its display and then measuring how much fuel we actually get. The first thing we're going to need is a fuel sample from each of our test subjects, in this case Shell, SO and BP. Cue the montage. Driving to a petrol station Filling up one litre Montage Doing stupid testing Making a montage, a montage, montage. That's all of the fuel collected, and you join me in the Auto Shenanigans workshop. Actually, it's not mine. I realise that if you're going to mess about with things that are highly flammable, you're better off doing it at someone else's place. What I have here are three cans of ordinary 95 rom petrol collected from Shell, BP and Esso. According to the fuel pumps, we've got one litre in each can, and of course we're going to find out. To do so, I've devised a highly scientific test. I've got a measuring jug, which I stole from my mum's kitchen. We're going to measure out each of the fuels in turn and see if we're actually getting the one litre that we're supposed to be getting. As we've come to realise, fuel pumps are not necessarily accurate when dispensing lower quantities, say one litre at a time, so we're going to see how accurate or inaccurate they are. Right, first up is Esso. I hope you can see that all right. But we're not at one litre. I'm going to say 985 millilitres. It's definitely not a litre. That's interesting, isn't it? Okay, next up is BP. Oh. Okay. We've got more than one litre. Check that out. That's got to be a good 50 millilitres more. So we're, we're making profit? Is, is that how this works? I wasn't expecting this. I thought we'd just have one litres all round. So far, SO, 985 millilitres. BP, I'm going to call it and say 50 mil. So it's 1,050 millilitres. And finally, shell fuel. Oh, of course it's bang on. Of course it would be. It's shell. But shell measures up at one litre precisely. That concludes the measurements. Back to you, John, in the studio. Well, that was an unexpected result. It seems that Esso is your worst choice, coming in at 985 millilitres. Shell is on the money at 1,000 millilitres. Fair enough, no issues there. And it looks like BP, coming in at 1,050 millilitres, is probably the best deal, right? Well, no. Whilst there is a measurable difference between the three samples, I think given the variables involved with fuel storage and delivery, we could repeat the exact same test again and get a completely different set of results. Depending on the type of fuel pump, they are mostly accurate when delivering more than two or five litres, it's just that the manufacturers make no guarantees or promises when purchasing less than that fuel quantity. Can they get away with this? Yes, they can. Their asses are covered by legislation. Although, let's be honest, in the majority of cases, nobody's putting in one litre at a time, so none of this is really relevant. However, if you did want to fill up one litre at a time, might I recommend BP? Thanks for watching.